Good morning school, welcome to your 5A chapel. Today we will focus on habit five, seek first to understand, then to be understood. In particular, we will be looking at respectfully seek to be understood. Here are some scenarios to help you understand better. Here is Lisa, Joy and Rosemary shouting at Joyce for drawing in her own style. Lisa, Joy and I should remember to listen to Joyce's point of view. I hate the lips. They don't look so nice. I want to add such a nasty mold. Yeah, I hate the ears. Actually, yeah, so it's so nasty. The picture yeah, is so know. ugly, like trash. No, an yeah. artist wouldn't even bear to look at it. Yeah, it's so Seriously. ugly. That's yeah. true. You're not lying, yeah. Lisa. She's so ugly. Yeah. Let's now see how to seek to understand them to be understood looks in action. Hey, Rosemary, Joy, let's go see what Joyce is drawing. <laughs> Hi, Joyce. What, why did you draw the head like a potato? Because I was trying to draw it like this famous piece, but you don't always get things right. And anyway, I can just um, like make it right. Now I understand. Yeah, it looks so nice. But why did you draw the nose like that? Because yeah, I was trying to draw this nose, but I did it a bit too long. But you tried. Well done. And it really makes sense now. Yeah. Yeah, even if we have different drawing styles, um, we can still make the, them look the same at the end, even if you start off different. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's actually true. Yeah. yeah. Tips on how to respectfully seek to be understood. Number one, make sure you take time to understand the point of view of the other person before you seek to be understood. Tip number two, like just share your point of view with courage and consideration. Tip number three, you can state your point of view by statements such as, thank you for sharing your thoughts, would you be willing to, sh to hear mine? Now the year five boys are going to show you two scenarios, one bad and the other one good, that applies habit five. Let's watch this together. We were three nil down and Eli is our best is our best midfield. So any plans? I think we should try and pick them out. We should, they'll go that side, but actually we're gonna try and go and chew on that other side. Great, great plan. Mm -hmm. If they try to equalize, we have a smaller chance and smaller distance of them equalizing. Yeah, we should try the, our best to make them not score. And yeah. first, and you guys, bef before they even score one goal, we need to score four, okay? Four or five goals, okay? So we can do this, okay? Yeah, we can. Ready? Yes. Let's go, let's go. Shaka! Go for it, go for it! Elia! What are you doing honestly? The goal was right there, literally less than a meter away from me. And, and you're even midfielder! What are you doing honestly? What can you not do that is called shooting and scoring a goal? Honestly, Eli, you're the worst That did not go well at all. Let's see how we can incorporate habit number five. Shut up! Go for it, go for it! That oh. was the excitement of getting into the D. It's okay. Yeah, I really had a bad eye problem. At least we tried. I'm sorry for accusing you and blaming you. Other tips you can give you, get really clear on what you want to say. Avoid you messages and language that blames or accuses. Use proactive language and I messages. 